struggling to decide between the photo editors. I was in the same boat when I started photography and I was broke so my only real options were raw therapy and dark table. I read online they were pretty much the same so I decided to pick one randomly. Big mistake. So in this video, I'm breaking down exactly why these two editors aren't created equal and why I switched a few months ago. Maybe you are already using one and thinking of switching or you're just starting out. Regardless, make sure you stick around because I don't want you to make the same mistake as me. So why did I switch to Darktable? For me, the main reason is the Lua script module. I didn't pay attention at first, but when I started exploring it, I realized how powerful this was. This module allows us to use script that can make Darktable interact with external applications. Raw Therapy can also interact with external applications, but because Darktable does it using script, the possibilities are limitless. As an example, I made videos a few weeks ago about focus stacking and HDR inside Darktable. In this video, I share how we can use the Enfuse Advanced Script to do focus stacking, but also how we can use the HDR Merge plugin to do HDR. These two techniques are essential for many landscape photographers, and the Lua Script modules allow us to do everything inside Darktable. For me, this is a big win as I no longer have to process and move my pictures around different software. So this is simplifying my workflow a lot. Next, the second reason is simple but so annoying. So if you are like me, you are probably creating many versions of the same picture. For instance, I might create one I will use as a wallpaper on my desktop and another one I will use on my phone so both will add different crops. If you want to do that with raw therapy, you have two options. The first is to duplicate the raw file, which will take space on your hard drive. The second option is to save two profiles, but the problem is that you won't be able to see the two pictures in your library. You will have to load the profile every time you want to see or edit it. With Darktable, this is much easier as there is something called the duplicate manager. As the name implies, this allows you to duplicate your image to do different edits. And when you duplicate an image, both are shown in the library, which is much more convenient. This is a very small difference between these photo editors, but as I make many versions on almost all of my pictures, these features make my life much more easier. And the last reason is the geotagging feature. So my camera does not have any GPS, so I have to enter the coordinates manually. When I was using Raw Therapy, I had to use another software to add the GPS information after the picture was exported. But with Darktable, they are module for geotagging. We can import the GPX file we got from applications like All Trails or we can simply drag and drop the picture on a map to add the GPS information. And again, this small feature is simplifying my workflow a lot. So to conclude, there are a few features in Darktable that makes my workflow much easier. Instead of using one software for geotagging, another for HDR, another for focus tagging, I can do everything inside Darktable. And I know I said there were only three reasons, but actually there is more. For instance, Raw Therapy doesn't save your snapshots or your history. This means that if you open an old picture, you have to look at each module to see the change you made. And another thing is masking. The local editing module in Raw Therapy is so hard to use. There are so many sliders and after months, I still don't know what most of them are doing. But don't get me wrong, I'm glad they added that feature and I was always able to do what I wanted. But doing mask in Darktable is much easier. You can draw circles, ellipses, or you can do a custom shape. Also, you can mix that with parametric masking, making Darktable so powerful. So in my opinion, Darktable has more features, so I recommend you use it over Raw Therapy. But we all have different workflows, so perhaps the best is to try both before you decide what's best for you. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, just give me a like, and see you next time.